Hi folks, Kevin Ingster here. What I want to do is show you uh, how, to, how to produce a uh, portrait on a piece of wood such as this. It may look difficult, but it's actually one of the easiest projects you can do using the power chisel. So what I've done is I've just taken a standard photograph of these three beautiful uh, boys and I've reduced it to black and white and I've uh, blown it up into uh, an A3 size uh, uh, photograph. So I've printed it here. You can see I've reduced it to purely black and white. There's no shaded areas or anything. Um, you can do this with any standard uh, photographic program. I just used iPhoto on my, my computer. Um, and I just turned up the contrast and I just uh, played with it until I got a, a nice image that I liked uh, with as little shading as possible. What I'm going to do is uh, I'll stick this onto a piece of wood like so. Here you see I've got a piece of uh, she oak. I've just glued it straight onto the piece of wood. And what I'm going to do now is get the power chisel. And using various chisels, I'm just going to chisel out all of the black sections. When I've removed all the black, I'll then spray it with a uh, black paint. And then I'll sand off the paper and polish up the board. And that's the finished item. It's very, very easy to do. Looks difficult. It's actually very, very easy. OK, so this is the power chisel. Um, you can see that it here is fitted to an Arbitec grinder. If I press this button, it's very, very easy to change the chisels. It doesn't do any cutting at all until you apply pressure to the tip. So it's a very, very safe tool, easy to use. Now, the chisels I intend to use for this uh, carving is just the 60 degree V. I use that chisel for just uh, sculpting the outline. I'll just trace around the black areas uh, where I want to remove the wood with this 60 degree V and I'll use a, uh, a gouge, a shallow gouge for taking out the intervening pieces of wood. So here it is, folks, the final product. Um, as I said, it may look difficult, but it's actually very, very easy. All we did was put the uh, photograph uh, straight onto the, or the paper, straight onto the wood and carve away the black bits. I didn't carve away all of the black bits. A lot of the, the, the heavy black bits here, like here and on the hair, I actually reduced it to a couple of strokes, which was effective and is a lot better than large black sections. Also, um, I probably should have used a paler timber. Uh, this wood, if I oil it, goes very dark and it's not a very good contrast. So I recommend using a pale wood. 
Um, and another uh, uh, good thing to do is to make sure that you sand the wood nice and smooth before you begin, because if the wood is too rough, um, when you do the sanding at the end, you may go too deep and take away some of the image. So just a few little pointers to make it easier. Thank you.